If you thought you were making good progress in Summoner's War, get ready to cry because Instant Noodle puts all of us, all of us to shame. I know some of you out there are like, Vagel, no, 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 no. That's the opposite of my problem. I am not making any progress in Summoner's War, and that's why I'm ready to cry. Touche, I do know a lot of you are in that situation. So this is Instant Noodle's account. He emailed me a couple days ago when he was 32 days in. Now he's 36 days in, right? But he initially emailed me when he was 32 days in. He said, Bagel, I have completed like almost all the stuff in the game, as far as PvE is concerned, not, not PvP. He's not like G3 and RTA or whatever, and Guild Wars and Arena and stuff like that. He has completed a lot of the PvE content. So let's take a look at his account. Let's see what he's completed. Uh, 32 days, or actually, like I said, right now, 36 days into the game. He initially emailed me when he was 32 days into the game. Uh, let's see what he's got going on. Arena only, Fighter th Fighter 3 is what a lot of you guys are at, like, three years into the game. Uh, Guild Battle Siege Battle is not really relevant because, you know... I mean, I guess it could be relevant. So, World Arena Special League. There wasn't even any Special League uh, in here. So, he's completed TOA Normal. He's completed up to 75 on TOA Hard. He didn't complete all of TOA Hard. I'll give I'll, I'll I'll give you guys that he didn't complete all of TOA Hard. He's got a Giants team. It's not a crazy Giants team. It's two minutes forty two seconds. Not anything special. He's got Tricaru already built. So he's got a Speed Dragons team. He's got the Tricaru and Aster team, right? So he's got a Speed Dragons. He's got Speed Necropolis. He's got Speed Punisher's Crypt because Tricaru, Tricaru, Tricaru. He's got a Steel Fortress team. One minute forty three seconds, and then he also has Triple S in every Rift feat. I was like, wait a second, 32 to... Okay, how much did he spend? Nothing. This The seven-year events, though. The seven-year events are so... They, they are such a boost to any new account. The seven-year scrolls, where you can choose the different Nat 4s that you want to specifically make sure that if you start a new account, you get those specific Nat 4s that you're... Well, most likely get the... You know, you may just not summon them from the seven-year scrolls, but very likely to get the specific uh, Nat 4s that you're looking for, and skill-ups for, like, for example, any three stars that you want a second awaken along the way. So we see a lot of this stuff is... Water Twins, Water Twins, Water Twins, we got Fran, we got, and we also have, he's got a BJ5 team. 30, well, like I said, he was 32 days, right now he's 36, so however you want to count that, if you want to count it from the initial time that he emailed me, which is what I do, um, or if you want to be like, I didn't see it, it doesn't count, then 36. Either way, he's got a BJ5 team, 30... Like, basically a month into playing the game. He's got BJ5. He's got tr uh, Triple S on every Rift Beast. Let's go take a look at his runes. Let's go take a look at everything. But this is pretty crazy. He also did last month's, not this month's, Dimension Predator uh, for May, he said. So let's take a look at all the runes for here. Again, we already saw the we already saw the teams. Let's take a look at the runes on this. Is He must have taken something off. It's just on attack, crit rate attack on here. The big thing, though, for all of these Rift Beasts are the twins. So he's got attack, crit damage attack. Also, um, let me actually give you guys... He, he, he wrote some notes out, too, of, like, what his, what his strategy is. Look at this. Everything's completely maxed for the twins. He just went with rage, tried to get as many... I mean, he's... He's got a BJ5 team, so of course he's got some grinds. He's got some defense on here. Just try to go for probably just whatever. Single target crit damage, attack plus portion to lost HP. That's both good for damage dealt by attacking together. All of these are nice. He probably didn't want to go for the defense for the primer stat specifically. He was probably going for the attack, but, you know, he's like, if if the subs are good, then uh, then he, he went for it, right? So that's what we got for that one. Then we have the Talia, also fully skilled up. Fully skilled up. I, w I wonder if he devil on this, actually. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking he... M oh. <laughs> not not max runes, but uh, there we go. We got... To or maybe he was going for tankiness. Because, I mean, tankiness is not bad here. I just figured that maybe he was just trying to get the tankiness in the subs and grind some tanky... Uh, grind some tanky things. But I guess he was going for a little bit of tankiness on the, uh, on the artifacts. Not a bad idea. Uh, but basically, just these, these twins are fantastic. Twins and uh, uh, a heal and attack power buff is fantastic for these Rift Beasts just all together. Uh, and then we have this is attack, crit damage attack. So this is just determination because to team up with Tricara, right? Uh, so then we see these are the runes on that. Then he, he So he was go it looks like he was going for tankiness. He does not have this fully skilled up, though. Uh, and then we have what are the runes on Fran? 
And she's just on speed HP, HP, violent focus. Everything's all grinded up on her. Oh, we didn't take a look at her artifacts. But 32 days in, with like 32, 36, however you want to count it, right? Uh, super tanky, looks like he has plenty of defense. Let's take a look at his towers too. So he doesn't even have the, doesn't have everything maxed out, but this teams up with the other units though. This teams up with this, this teams up with these girls to reduce their cooldowns as well. So uh, let's see what he's got for this one. He's using a Bernard, not... Also, take a look at this Bernard speed. Bernard is 296 speed a month into the game. Remember, we did have that, uh, we did have that rune event. Right? We did have the rune event where you could just choose your own rune. This is, I think, might be the Dimension Predator rune uh, from last month's Dimension Predator. He got lucky on that one. And then these, he's just going, wow! He definitely got lucky on this one. 31 speed, a month. He got lucky here. He got lucky here. 17 speed on this, 31 speed on here. Let's be real, he got lucky on that one, but uh, wow. Uh, so Bernard could be definitely tankier artifacts, but he's not six star, so that's why he doesn't have artifacts. He couldn't six star everything, of course. This is kind of weird. I think maybe he just um, so this is uh, almost fully skilled up. I think he just put this on. This is a, another guard set just for the Tricaru, but I think he just put this on because number one, it increases attack age, and number two, even though it has element disadvantage, Vertical is not a good unit in this dungeon. Just an increased attack age, and he does some damage. And he probably was tinkering around with other stuff, and he's like, man, I can't get this to work. Like, this could have been... I'm surprised he didn't do this one. Because, really, Lucian AoE ignore defense is not great for, like, the Rift Beasts. But, um, just the fact that he's got a leader skill and element advantage, I kind of figured he would have gone for that one. But maybe he tried that initially, and, he, and it didn't work. Uh, or something. Here is very similar. We already saw those... Everything on there. I mean, some of this stuff is kind of like, some of this stuff is kind of like wonky. He's only missing one from another uh, another vampire set. So let's take a. He's got another healer here. Okay, he's got a lot of wonky stuff. This looks like a man. I'm just trying to do as as good as I can with the stuff that I have. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at his towers too. But everything's grinded up, everything's grinded up, everything's... Because you need to have a very efficient Veiliger for BJ5. That's that's the thing. He needs to be tanky, and he needs to have a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at, like I said, the tower. What was his team for this? Okay, well, we already know what those are ruined for, right? And then this one is just another... Speed, HP, defense. Oh, I think this is for uh, BJ5, actually. I think that might be what that's for. All right, that's what that looks like. And then let's take a look at the uh, make party. Let's do VP battle private. And we'll just see, this is only Rift uh, 1, but we'll at least see what the what the team is. You see he's got efficient enough stats on the, the Baelgar to actually make this happen. And then this is the runes on him. He's just on uh, double fight and will, which is pretty standard for this. And like I said, this is this is for her. She's on just speed, HP, defense. Double fight will. When I see double fight will, I'm thinking, okay, this is for, like, Bailiger, right? Anything that could go in a Bailiger team uh, goes in a Bailiger team. Or, you know, there's some PvP teams that you use with, like, Lucian or whatever. So triple fight here. Uh, tanky enough to withstand the first blast uh, over there, but not on will. And this is on double fight will. So double fight will is just pretty pretty standard. For that so let's also take a look at the I mean let's take a look at the Tricara team we may as well do some runs like I don't want to like go try to find we know this is gonna work I don't want to see a three-minute dungeon run do you guys want to see a three-minute dungeon run do you guys we'll see that we'll see the dragons we'll see the necropolis just to just to see just to see everything but uh, yeah I'm sure you I'm sure you guys have faith that it's like yes it's probably a legitimate uh, three-minute Giants team so I'm sure what he's going to go for next is the continuous damage team, right? He's got the Lucian. Uh, so I'm sure he's going to second awaken the Soth and the Tattoo and stuff like that. So let's just see it. But yeah, 30 again, like a month in. A month in. This is, this is the fastest I've ever seen anyone do it. However, again, I got to say the fact that there's... I mean, there's so many... He also has a crazy amount of crystals considering. But I did take a look. I was like, uh, remember, we have these seven-year events. So, I don't think that anyone's going to be able to beat this. 
Challenge accepted, Bagel! I don't think anyone's gonna be able to beat this amount of, uh, like, this fast of a progression until maybe the eight-year event. You guys are like, okay, I'm gonna try this as soon as the eight- Hey, guys, if you can do it in, like, 20 days when we get the eight-year events, you, you know my email. You let me know, right? So, anyway... Watch, I'm like not even doing summoners more videos. And <gasps> it's just gonna be all OMG food, guys. Eight year events. By the time those come, it's gonna be all OMG food. It'll be the dream. Oh my god, could you imagine? Some of you are like, yeah, I can imagine. Please make that happen. Okay, so Dragon's working fine. Oh, and again, uh, again, free to play. He did leave some notes though, so we'll actually take a look at the notes that he said. Uh, Tricaru was done on day 28, so it took him almost a full month to do Tricaru. BJ5 on day 31, as well as the Predator. General progression was Necropolis B10 to Necropolis B12 in the first two to six days with uh, Fire Nagami, Twins, Lauren, and Friend by using the three gifted rune sets plus Labyrinth and Event Runes. Three gift oh, the three, three rune sets from like doing the, um, the Summoner's Way and things like that, and the achievements as well. So, this one's a little bit slower than the other one. But it's because there's there's a fifth unit in here, so they're not always teaming up with this, like always teaming up with uh, all four of them every single time. They're teaming up with different stuff every time. That's why you, that's why sometimes you don't see Tricaro. Like, like the core Tricaro team is only four units. This way, they always team up with the same units every single time, right? But for Necropolis, people people do this um, not really even with the Vertiheal, but they do it with the uh, the Lucian. So the Vertiheal was just to uh, I guess it wasn't working the other way. Uh, without the Verti Heal, but I feel like you could just do this at this point without the Verti Heal and just do the Aster and the three Inugamis. But uh, but this is his team, not 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 mine team. Uh, so anyway, uh, Necropolis B10 to Necropolis B12, first two to six days with Fire Inugami, Twins, Lore and Friend, and again, the seven year scrolls, how he got the Twins so fast, right? Uh, and then there was, let me show you guys the rest of the stuff. He went through all of Summoner's Way, he did all of those, what else? All of Summoner's Way, that's how he got the uh, Transcendence, and, and he's got a few Nat 5s too, he just didn't build them, because they're like, they're not for progression, he wanted to do it as fast as possible, so he did all of this stuff. Makes us all look bad, makes us all look bad, he did uh, all of the 7 year events, which are not in the game anymore, I believe, we can't even see them, right? So, uh, we can't even see all that stuff. And then, what else did he do? We're not summoning. Oh, he did this, too. He did this, he did the Predator, he did all of these. That's how he got, like, extra scrolls. That's how he got extra crystals. But yeah, those seven-year events just gave us so much stuff. And th there's more to come. There's this, the, the, the hundred gift event, which is gonna have a crazy amount of stuff. Also, this little balloon shop that was over here gives us quite a decent amount of stuff, right? For progression, there was just, they, they basically allowed people to jumpstart any progression or catch up pretty quickly with all the seven year events so they're really not do we need to show oh we show let's let's show some towers i said we're going to show some towers but uh yeah it's going to be it's without spending money it's going to be very it, i don't i i, I want to say not possible pretty close to not possible or you have to get extremely lucky with the units that you pull like right away um, to make this kind of progress in one month. The real thing that jump-started it was seven-year events for the nine millionth time. This little blimp thing that was here that was giving us uh, the little seals or whatever, the seven-year seals and things. This uh, Summoner's Way, all the gifts from here, all the, the juicy stuff from here. He went for Necropolis first before the other stuff. And then he did all these mock battles for a thousand crystals here and then 20 scrolls and then a bunch of uh, mana from there. And again, the seven year, the seven year uh, runes were super OP, right? Getting those are, the, those are some of the best runes that people have on their accounts altogether. Um, so it's absolutely crazy. So let's take a look at the, uh, the tower upgrades. He's got just to get these, right? Just to get these for the extra mana sanctum of energy for the extra energy. He's got a couple upgrades into, look at the upgrades. Oh, the Guardstone for Tricaru. He was probably like figuring out that like, okay, I need to keep doing upgrades into the Guardstone to make sure that these Tricaros have enough defense to team up. And he probably upgraded a little bit and was like, oh, you know, this is not working. This is not working. This is not working. I need to upgrade it more and more and more and focus on that. Uh, and then, you know, the more upgrades. He's got more upgrades into some of these towers than you guys have after like a year. 
Look at that. Sky Tribe Totem. He's got some upgrades into. Remember, these they split these now. So it's 20 upgrades to max it. Where it used to be 10, uh, it's now 20, right? So they're cheaper for every upgrade. But still, he had to keep going, keep going, keep going. I do also approve of the upgrades that he did. Crit damage, very nice. Uh, speed, very nice. Completely ignoring this, very nice. This is something that I would completely ignore uh, early game until you like max out the like the rest of it. It's like, I guess I'll do the boost. This is basically a garbage tower, to be honest. Uh, LD ones are generally not too not too valuable because you only you don't really use that many. I mean, there's crow and there's things like that, but you don't really use that many LD stuff. Um, and then these other ones, you know, just having these are nice. Sanct of energy is just extra uh, energy for your max. And then these ones, like, this is very important for Bailiger. Uh, this is very important for Tricaru. This is very important for Tricaru. This is not as important for Tricaru because a lot of your damage is coming from the Vertiheal and the Aster for those Tricaru teams. So yeah, those are that's and also the crit damage. So the crit damage, the fire, uh, and the attack. And then the guardstone to make sure that you do um, that you do those team ups, right? So anyway, I just wanted to show it because this is the fastest I have seen anyone make this kind of progress for doing Tricaru and doing BJ5 and doing Triple S on all the Rift Beasts. Just build twins. Twins are still a thing, guys. I know people say twins are not a thing. You don't use twins anything anymore because B10 dungeons are like this, twins are still a thing for for Rift Beasts. Twins are still a thing for Guild Siege. They're still a thing. They're, they they didn't drop off as much as like people want to claim that they did. They're still they're still a thing. So anyway, uh, that's it for this one. I think we basically covered everything. Oh, let's take a look at all that they got Nat fives too. Because remember, seven year scrolls. There was quite a large amount of seven year scrolls. We get to choose whatever you wanted. Uh, they got a Leo, they got, and there was also two transcendence. There was transcendence from the event, so that's a guaranteed Nat five for one of them. And then there's a transcendence from the uh, Summoner's Way. So it's guaranteed that he would have gotten at least two Nat 5s. He also did get a little bit lucky on top of that. He also did get a little bit unlucky because these are not really good early game units. But yeah, we got Triton, Tiana, Zyros, Leo, uh, Amelia, and Shihao. I think that's the only, that's the only, dude, he got more Nat 5s in, again, two Transcendence. Was there another Transcendence somewhere? There might have been another Transcendence somewhere. I know there were people that were free-to-play free, free to play that were doing, like, three Transcendence, but I'm trying to think of the past 30 days, but it's I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, yeah, six, he's got six Nat 5s. Again, there was a lot of scrolls, though, again, between Summoner's Way, because I know people are going to be like, oh, he must have spent a billion dollars. Between all the stuff in Summoner's Way, all the resources in Summoner's Way here, uh, some legendary scrolls here. Remember, he did TOA as well. So we got all the resources from TOA, and then he has all of these cleared, 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 and then to the top is... That's the only one that he didn't clear, so he's got all the resources from this, he's got all the resources from this, he's got all the resources from this. He makes us all look very lazy because he's got all the resources from all of this, and what else in achievements? So he's got some of these uh, things for achievements, but he still has some, he still has some more to go. But anyway... It's really this. It's really these seven year, like all the seven year events, made it so easy to boost up your progress this like ridiculous amount. So, I mean, we'll see what happens when the eight year events come along. I think that there are going to be people that want to challenge the speed that he did this and be like, "No, bagel, I did it in twenty five days." And I'm gonna be like, "You guys are crazy. You guys are like speed running summoners war, speed running summoners war early game progression." I'll, let's see. Eight year events, mark it on your calendar, and we'll see how fast you guys can, if you guys can uh, actually one up this account when the eight year events come out. We're, who knows? We'll probably have like some different dungeons and be like, Giants B13, it's like Tricar's not a thing, and it would Dragons B13, Dragon's not a thing. Dragon's like does extra damage every time you guys get a turn, and he boosts his attack age every time you get a turn. It's like, I shouldn't give comp to us any ideas. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and I will see you soon. It makes me feel bad, too. It makes me feel lazy. I was like... It makes all of us feel lazy. Because there's other people that are like, I did this in, like, two months, three months. I feel really good about myself. <laughs> like, all of us are, like, very lazy. The people that have been playing for, like, three, four years and don't have Tricara yet. I mean, you guys might actually be lazy, but... But the rest of us... The rest of us, this just makes everyone else look bad. But again, 
for the nine million time is all these seven year events made this much easier than it normally would have been otherwise but anyway that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed it i know you guys are gonna be salty af see you as always in the next one